Jesus Christ be praised. How may I serve you? God bless. I'm honored that you should come to me. God be with you. I got fucking everything. Wonderful. Come with me. What's taking them so long? Oh, I really don't know. Ready? Good. Now put it on. Hmm. Well, that would be an improvement. That's good. That's really fucking good. You don't think it's too much? It's perfect. If I met you at night, I'd shit myself. That's exactly what humans look like. Says the man who's never seen one. Well, I mean, that's exactly what people think humans look like. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. <laughs> We're only just getting started. God be with you. Have you heard about anything interesting going on lately? Just some talk about lost sheep and indecent wenches. Probably nothing to interest you. Of course I care about it. Sheeps and wenches are my thing. Where do I find them? That's over and done with. They ran away into the forest. The wenches? The sheep. Here, just as you ordered. Well, we'd better get back to work. Mm, I don't really have anything specific right now, but I did hear about something, uh, something interesting from one of your neighbors. Who? I, I don't know his name, but it was about as old as you. 
He said his family owned the Scallets Tavern. Young Adam, then. And the interesting part? He decided he wanted to go back home, see the damage and so on. And someone looted it right in front of his nose. I know. I've met those scavengers before. It's not that interesting, just sad, really. Well, it certainly isn't Christian. But the thing is, they were hiding money in that cellar of theirs. I wouldn't count on it. The looters probably spent all of it by now if he crawled into the right tavern. And anyway, I'm sure they didn't exactly have the royal treasure hidden there. This Adam said it was enough to fix a whole cottage or to go exploring the world. All right, but it still seems shady. And you haven't really given me much to go on. Maybe, but I don't have anything better. Why don't you find him and ask him and see where it leads you? Did he say where he was going? He said he's going to Ratai, that he has some arrangements there. It won't be easy to find him. Ratai's a little overcrowded nowadays. Then you'll have to ask someone, won't you? Bloody hell. Do you want me to hold your hand while you do it? I'll be on my way then. Go. Go. And ask him when you see him. Maybe you'll think of something. God be with you. God save you. I'm looking for Adam. Do you know where he might be? The young innkeeper? Either with the horses or at the tavern. He seems to like one just as much as the other. See you later. How's it going? You went to Scallets on your own, didn't you? That took guts. No, not really. It took me a while before I could work up the courage. That was sensible of you. I went back straight away, and I almost got killed. I know. I heard. That's part of the reason I was so nervous. And how did it go? Did you do everything you wanted? There wasn't anyone. Anything to do. Someone already did it before me. I wasn't even able to catch that thieving bastard. What thief? Some shady-looking character. Whole face smeared with soot. He shot out of the basement as soon as I went by and ran away with his loot. I got such a scare. I didn't think about running after him. And he stole absolutely everything. Even our new kettle. What did he look like? I didn't get a good look at him. He was covered in soot, and his sack of loot was so full, he had the kettle tied to it on the outside. It was gleaming. A sooty man, a big sack, and a new kettle. Of course, he could clean himself up and throw away the sack. Maybe it was a devil, or a charcoal burner. You know, it really could have been a charcoal burner. That sack definitely looked like a charcoal burner's sack, and there are a lot of those around Rovna, so he wouldn't have far to go. What was it he took from your place? I don't know. My father told me never to talk about it. What harm is there in telling me now? I can't steal it. Someone got there before me. That's true. My father hid some money and valuables there. There was... There was a jeweled cross. He wanted to give Bianca as a dowry. What did the cross look like? Why do you ask? Well, if I saw it somewhere, I'm... What? You want to look for it? Well, like I said, if I see it or hear something about it, we'll see. That would be so kind. I've nothing left. If I had that cross, at least I'd have something to remember them all by. The cross itself was silver, and it had a small red ruby in the middle, like a heart, and it was hanging on a red string.
I'm honoured that you should come to me. Have you been to Scallitz lately? What would I be doing there? Everything burnt down. Someone saw a charcoal burner rooting around there. And how does anyone know it was a charcoal burner? I'd like to know. Well, they said he had a charcoal sack and... Sacks aren't hard to come by. Especially around Scallitz. Anyone could have one. Including the guilty man. Or maybe it wasn't me and you're looking for someone else. If you don't confess right now, you'll be eating ash too. They saw a man with this sack, and I don't have a problem beating it out of you. Look, I really wasn't there. Even if you beat me, or let them take me away in chains, I'm still not the person you're looking for. Fine then. But if anyone catches you trying to loot Scallets... They won't. I've never done it before, so I'm not going to start now. Farewell. So, have you changed your mind about Scallets? Why would I change my mind? There's no reason I'd go back to that town of ashes. Someone saw a charcoal burner. And how does anyone... Well, they said he had a charcoal... Sacks on hot. Including the guilt... Or maybe it wasn't me. All right, then. I believe you. So you probably don't know who it really was, do you? No, I don't. There are plenty of charcoal burners around here, but who's to say it's one of them you're looking for? Fine. Thanks, then. Good luck to you. Jesus Christ be praised. Have you been to Scallitz lately? Scallitz? I thought that place burned down to the ground. What would I be doing there? Someone there saw a charcoal burner rooting through the burned-out buildings. Well, if you know who it was, then why have you come to me? I don't know who it was, just that it was a charcoal burner. And how do you know that? Because he was grubby from ash in the middle of a town full of ash? No, because he had a charcoal burner's sack. And that's your evidence? Anyone can get that? There's plenty lying around to forge, and there's a lot of people wandering around there. Trying to throw the blame on someone else, are you? Forget it. You're going to get what's coming to you, you thieving bastard. No, no, I don't know who did it, but it wasn't me. I'm innocent, I swear. If you only stop lying, I can see it in your eyes. You did something, and I'll get it out of you. Please, no, I didn't do anything. I just found it. It must have fallen from someone else's sack, but I wasn't in Scully's, and I didn't loot anything. A likely story. Though... If you had a sudden attack of conscience and gave it to me, I might just believe you didn't do anything wrong. Here it is. Everything I have. Take it and leave me be. I didn't do anything wrong. Take care now. Hey, Henry's coming to see you. Good health to you. I found Adam and asked him about his stolen stuff. And did you find out anything useful? You could say that. It was a man covered in soot who stole a new kettle and a silver cross. No one tried to sell me a kettle, but uh, that cross had a red stone and string, right? How did you know? Don't tell me you're a fortune teller. Of course not. Someone offered to sell it to me, but the whole thing seemed shady, so I told him I didn't want it. And do you have any idea who it was? I don't know his name. Just said he's a charcoal burner. He's from Rovna and only shows up here occasionally. Here, just as you ordered. So what did he say? Here. Nothing. He wanted something to eat and drink and then left. And that's it? Yes. If he cursed me, and he did it under his breath. So a complete stranger just happens to wander in here and offers to sell you a stolen cross. Come on, you definitely know who it was. I have got a reputation for being reliable and being able to arrange certain things. 
Yes, that's what Fritz said. Andrew's the man to go to if you need anything tricky arranging. So surely you know what the charcoal burner's name is, right? Well, I don't know everything. Just that the charcoal burner is called Tonchek, and he's from Rovna. But as for where exactly, I can't help you. I never went there, and I didn't ask. All right, I'll look into it. Take care. God save. Are you the charcoal burner named Tonchek? I'm not. Why do you ask? I heard he could help me get something, so I wanted to find him. If you want, I can get you a bag of charcoal, but that's about it. I'm really not interested in charcoal. Where can I find Tonchek? He's got a cottage up there in the woods, but he comes down here to work. Take care now. completely new kettle. Could it be the one stolen from Scallis? Jesus Christ be praised. Ah, oh, you've got a nice new kettle. Yeah, it cost me a groschen or two. Like hell it did. That cost you nothing but a bit of sneaking around. What are you trying to say? You robbed a man's home in Scalitz. He saw you. And they'll hang you for that. All right. All right! Fuck. Yes, I took it. it. It didn't belong to anyone anymore, so... What did it matter? It did belong to someone, Charcoal Burner. It belonged to a boy who came back to look for his dead family's savings and didn't find anything. So? I'm... I'm sorry about that. Take it then and give it to him. I hid it behind the cottage in the rotting tree. I'll forgive you this time. But God save you if you try anything like this ever again. Farewell. Where's the cross? What are you talking about? You really want to try me? There was a cross in that hoard you stole, and it isn't here. So where did it end up? I... I sold it. To the innkeeper. Which one? Uh, and... Uh, Andrew. He has the inn between Tarnberg and Neuhof. Good luck to you. God be with you. I just wanted to ask about the cross. What about it? It wasn't with the rest of the loot, and he said that he sold it to you. Can you believe him? I'd like to buy it from you. You would? Well, if the price is right, how much are you offering? Since it's you. More! All right, that should cover my costs and efforts. See you later.
God save you. I've got good news. I found everything. What? Really? I can't believe it. I left the kettle, but this is all the rest of your things. Who cares about a kettle? But this, I'm forever in your debt. Nothing. That's all right. I'm always happy to help a neighbor. You're too generous. I'm very grateful. If you ever need anything, I'll remember it. God be with you. What ale over here, please? Are there any problems around here I might be able to help with? Well, it depends what you're willing to do. There was one troublemaker around here not long ago. But we dealt with him. He was selling some relics he claimed were miraculous. But it was nothing but worthless trinkets. The villagers sent the bloody swindler packing so fast you couldn't see his heels for dust. <laughs> All the way to the Dechko, I believe. I reckon he won't last long there either. And that's not all. Of course, it's your own skeleton's fault need the most help. There's some of them at the monastery. I talked to Johanka a few times and she's working her fingers to the bone, taking care of the injured ones there. I'm sure she'd welcome some good Samaritan who would lighten her load. That's all I can think of. May the Lord watch over you. God be with you. Do you want something? I do. And you look like the kind of fellow who knows a thing or two and wouldn't mind a bit of work that's not entirely... well... honest. What's it about? I'm looking for someone who knows how to dip her pockets. For a... reward, of course. Well, then it's lucky for you that I happened along. Who do you want me to rob? There's a farmer who lives in the craftsman's yard. He made a killing supplying vegetables I to the monastery. For me. I worked for him for a while, but then he threw me out without even paying me for my labor. I'd like you to steal the groschen he owes me. And also a pouch containing an amulet he got from the herb woman. He's as superstitious as an old crone. So when he realizes he's lost it, he'll have a fit. Sounds easy enough. It ain't quite that easy, otherwise I'd handle it myself. That fucker don't trust no one, and he's always looking over his shoulder. If you manage to nick his pouch and his coin, you can keep the groschen as a reward. God be with you. I'd like something to eat. 
God save you. What can I do for you? Here's the farmer's pouch you asked for. Got it Great. right Great, thanks. Here. He'll have a fit when he finds out. He won't get a wink of sleep till he gets a new one. You see, he's got this idea he'll be eaten alive I'm for hungry. fleas and lice like without his amulet. Well, I'm always on the lookout for work. What have you got? When I worked for the farmer, I took a fancy to his maid. Only she's got someone else. A draper. He gives her fine shawls and chemises. And I don't have a chance. Go and steal the shawl she has. What use would her shawl be to you? I'll slip it to someone else and then tell the draper his sweetheart puts no value on the gifts he gives her. He's really jealous, so he'll be mad as hell. That's not very nice of you. But what do I care? What's it worth to you? Don't worry. I'll reward you in Groshen. Take care now. I'll have a beer. Brought you that girl's shawl? Thank you. I'll hide it in the farmer's bed and then tell the draper. It'll cripple the bastard if you don't kill him outright. Who is it you want to get revenge on? The farmer or his maid? All of them. They're all a bunch of diabolical swine. And that draper too. Is there anything else you want? One last thing, but it won't be so easy this time. I got my own back on the farmer and that wench. Now it's the draper's turn for stealing my girl. Steal the tinderbox he carries. It's his pride and joy, and he's always boasting about how fine it is. Everyone knows it's his. Once you've got it, I'll set the whole bloody farm on fire and drop his tinderbox there so everyone will blame him. What reward will I get? I'll give you a pair of boots I just got from the cobbler. You'll never find more comfortable ones in your life. The avenging angel is at your service. I'll get right on it. Good luck to you.
No worries. Get the hell out! God be with you. I've got the Draper's Tinder box for you. <laughs> he who laughs last, laughs loudest. Here's the boots I promised you. Wear them in good health. And now I'll go and get my revenge. Good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> 